hi and welcome to dashboard tutorial develop in excel so guys let me show you how this works so if i come in here now i can just click on reset to reset the whole lot you see that and the same thing here you can see the the column chart i have the map of australia right there and here line here i have the pie chart and this is a bar chart there so let's see how it works if i click on any of these now you can see the changes there showing the cells the area of the cells there i can also always refresh it using my slicer here and let's say i click on whatever item where it was sold you can see that so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take you guys straight into excel development environment and we put one of these very beautiful tutorial together hi and welcome to excel dashboard tutorial here is the data i intend to use and the first thing i like to do before i continue with the dashboard is right up here i'm going to sum up the price and the amount of products there so let's come in here and just give that a title and right here we'll just enter equals click in there and enter multiply by the cell here that's f2 multiply by g2 press enter so i'm now going to double click here now so that we can populate the whole column so okay that's fine now here you see here the initial of this sales coordinator i would like to enter the initial there so let me enter initial right there and underneath here i'm going to enter equals and let's go to formula right here click on formula you see where we have the text i'm going to drop that down let's select you see this function left just click on that okay and function left is asking me what would you like me to do so i'm going to just select all of these i want all the information there and that's fine just click on that and that's it as you can see the initial of tony montana letter t is right there so i'm now going to double click on this there that's the initial of the sales rep taken care of the next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to go to insert select table cancel that first let's come in here select table so that i can grab all of the data and just click on ok then if you like the choice is yours if you want to customize the appearance see the design tab is there so just do what you like um the advantage of that is i can always narrow it down to whatever selection i want that is the advantage of this so if i want to select let's say we want western australia that is it all the data for western australia shows up okay all right so let's continue with this dashboard that's just a brief introduction of how to get your dashboard properly sorted now i'm going to go back to insert right there i will now select perfect table okay, click on perfect table and there so what i want to do now is i need to select every data that i want and i'm going to ask you to create it on a new worksheet so let's click on that and i'm going to select all of the information that i have in here so you can always just scroll down there we go and click on there that's it selected now to drop it down let's drop it down now and see and just click on ok and that take me straight to a new worksheet that's it sheet number two okay as you can see i have my perfect table fields there so i'm going to select the state and i want to select cost of item and the number sold and the total cost as well right i will now use that to create a perfect chart let's come into insert and right there click on chart so what do i want do i want a column chart or a bar chart okay for now i'm going to go for a bar chart i will be creating some other different charts so that bar chart is fine and you can select 
any of these design that you want okay I'm going to set you for this I like that click on OK there we go that's my bar chart I'm just gonna move that aside now the next thing I like to do now is let's come in here um sheet one so we might as well just create a map let me create a map of the area where the sales are taking place the whole data here is already selected anyway so go to insert and let's click on the map look at the map there click on the map and there we go the map there we go that's the map i'm just gonna move that aside as a map of australia good now the next thing that i would like to do is i'm going to create another and i'm going to create another pelvic table so let's select the whole data again and i'll just click on insert pelvic table this time around i want a new sheet okay See, look at that new sheet is selected so let's click on okay there we go new sheet is selected now we want some other information so let's save in the state as well i want that of the state i want item okay let's come in here and see if we can get size cost and this time around i'm just going to go for it in a, a different chart entirely let's select perfect chart and let's see I like this but it seems to have too many data in there let's come back in here and delete get rid of item and see what's gonna happen you see that so I'm also going to get rid of the size I think I'm gonna set you for that I like that but if I include this what do I get all right so that is one taken care of now I have number three I also need I need to create more chat so let's come in here I'm going to go to insert and that's going to be a new one again All right number four okay in here I need a line get a state and I need a line so insert have it okay right here let's get a line yeah, let's see yeah that that's good right okay so I have enough for my dashboard now let's add another one pie chart is called right the state and let's see item there okay i'm just going to go for the pie chart now let's see insert perfect chart pie chart mm, i don't like that I see this there seems to be too much information in there so as you can see we can always just reduce the whole total information we have in there okay that's that gone total I need the total anyway right let's come back in here get rid of size yeah that's fine maybe get rid of the cost as well so that's fine I think I like it the way it is now that's much better right I think I'm about to have enough for my dashboard now so I'm going to add another sheet right there and that very sheet maybe I can just enter dashboard there the first thing is I'm going to bring the country in let's come into sheet number one let's copy this copy the country control C 
go to your dashboard, paste that somewhere. There we go. You can always change the position. Now, let's get the pie chart. Copy that. Copy the pie chart. Copy and paste. And number four. The line. Copy the line. Paste it somewhere. Number three. Copy that. I'll come right in here. Paste it somewhere. No, number three is now copied. So copy it again. Right there. Yeah, I think there is one more. Number two. Yeah. Copy that. And go to the dashboard. Just dump it somewhere. Okay, maybe here. There. I have all my data in place, so all the chart in place I mean, so I'm now going to go ahead with the arrangement of everything before we then enter a slicer. That is it, I'm going to be using that later on. So first of all, I'm going to just rearrange the whole lot so that you guys can see it properly. Okay, let's start with the rearrangement of the whole lot now, so I'm going to move this aside Let's bring the line, the line chart in and move this down a little bit. Just extend it that much. Right. And the other thing is, let's align this right beside it here. And bring this up. Okay. Yeah, one thing I like to do is select the worksheet itself and I'm going to just press control control F1 control and F1 I need page layout right there so what I want to do is to get rid of the griddle the lines so get rid of that if you notice all of the lines on board is all gone look at it it's all it's all gone now so that's how you get rid of the lines and I'm going to get rid of this as well where we have the the alphabet up here so that's it right there headings let's get rid of it there all gone now you know how to do that so I'm going to make room here for my there yeah, I make room there for the that would be for the slicer itself okay so just quick rearrangement before i can continue i would like you guys to be able to see what i'm up to so let's let's rearrange everything properly okay uh let's create the slicer now so i'm going to select let's select the line chart here um click on insert and that is the slicer okay I will select let me go for the state and I need the details of the sales coordinator here I think I should do so if we have to add more yes we can do that and what about item let's see those three okay I want the, the states right there Sales coordinators here, yeah. and let's click on this hide the ribbon and see. And I also want this. Okay, I'm gonna need enough room for that. Is it possible to move that here? It is possible to move this up and take this up a little bit more. Okay. Now for those of you that don't know the purpose of this slicer, if I click on any of these, let's assume I click on New South Wales, there we go, you can see the amount of sales we have in New South Wales, let's go to Queensland, okay let's go to Victoria, alright, 
and the not territory as well so you can always click on this filter to get everything back and let's see let's check out the names of these coordinators so that is the sales made by this guy Antonio and let's see let's come right down here what about let's see this guy right and the items nothing sold in item 4 by a decoy so that's the whole idea of this slicer so let's make the slicer look a little bit presentable so I'm just gonna click on that I'll select it all and all right what about the background I'm going to first of all see if I can get a better background for this okay as for the background let's click on that and show the the ribbon and commands so if you go to page layout here we can always select a background here and let's go in here and search for a background I don't know if I should actually embed a background let's see this I inbuilt background by Microsoft and thank you for that Microsoft so let's select that and look for any other thing here that will make it look good maybe this there we go the background is there and we can't see this anymore so I'm going to have to change the color of that to something light here and that is the background but the problem is you can see the chart is covering the background the other, the other thing we can do is right click or double click on the chart unless yeah we can just select no fill if there's no fill then the chart we cannot see the chart properly so we need to now find a way to see the chart so enhance that and I'm going to enhance it all that's going to be a little bit painstaking and even the lines we need to change the color of the lines to something that we can see so that's what I'm gonna to have to do guys changing the color so that you guys can see it properly all right let's repeat the same thing for this very one here so I may have to speed that up now that you get the whole idea okay this is how it's looking now but the next thing I like to do is you see these slicers I like them to communicate with each other so let's come right here if you select any of the slicers you want to go to let me go to options and right in there you can see report connections or if you don't click on reports connection you can always right click and just select report connection here it's the same thing and I'm just gonna connect all of them together I repeat the same thing for this very one let's get it connected and one more there the other thing is I think I may have to change the appearance of these slices the way they look that is it so they'll be able to communicate with each other now so once the once you select any of these slides that you want you can always come in here and let's select one of these and see um, let's see that that looks a bit pronounced or more pronounced than how it was select them both and let's go to the options and just apply the same thing to that and this one as well there scroll right down yeah that's fine and I think that's that's all there is to it so I'm gonna click that and hide the whole ribbon and there guys that is how you develop your own dashboard using excel so with that guys i'm going to call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoyed so you all have a nice day now and bye for now